Hey everyone, today for Terminal Tips, we're gonna be taking a look at the port of Sihanoukville, Cambodia. Now over the years, this port's gotten a bit of mixed feedback. Some people really like it, some not so much. And I'm gonna to try to work through that pretty quickly today to try to give you an idea as to why people form the opinions that they do. Now, Sihanoukville is Cambodia's only deep water port, meaning it's the only cruise ship accessible port in the country. And the coastline is lined with beaches, lots of different temples, some offshore islands as well. Uh, but it's important to remember this is as far as ports that you might visit along the way on an Asian cruise. Uh, the one that is, let's say, most um, sort of third world, if you will. Now, just to give you some kind of understanding on that, the average annual income in Sihanoukville annual is about 1200 US dollar equivalent. That's not weekly, not monthly, annually. So it is quite um, sort of a, a challenged country in that respect and especially in this particular part. Doesn't mean it doesn't have its beauties and it gives you the opportunity to see part of the world that might be drastically different to where you grew up. Now the town in itself has a population hovering around 75,000 and as I say, some of the highlight points for people it might be a great beach day, uh, to check out some of the temples, or just to really get a feel for a place that might be very, very different to everywhere else along your itinerary. Now this port's often used as well for people to sort of get out and try to go to Angkor Wat. Now there is a caveat to that. If you're planning on going to Angkor Wat, that is right up near Siem Reap on another side of the country. It's not drivable in a day. People often leave the ship for up to three days at a time. Often what you'll find on an itinerary is that if you're heading south from say Hong Kong down towards Singapore, you will have the port of Phu Mi, which is a gateway to Ho Chi Minh City. You'll leave the ship that day, stay off for the following sea day, and then come back to the ship in Sihanoukville, or vice versa if you're going from Singapore up to Hong Kong, it'll just be the other way around. It's possible to go and see Angkor Wat, but you have to leave the ship for a few days. It's not possible on just a day trip from the port of Sihanoukville. So a few fast facts about this port. The title of the port, if you're trying to find it on a map, is the Sihanoukville Autonomous Port. It's located about three miles or five kilometers from the main downtown area. Now it is advised to take transport to get into downtown if you are doing things on your own because the streets aren't really labeled, they're not well signed, it's not that easy to get around and so it just it does give you that opportunity just to try to get into where you're going with transport as opposed to trying to just go on your own by walking out of the port gate. Now it's also important to know that the beaches, while this is really a beach sort of town, it, they're not in the town centre themselves. So the town centre isn't built right on the beach, you actually do need to sort of travel a different distance away from that. Check with your cruise lines as well because cruise lines will often offer a shuttle service to take you to the beaches as well. Some drop you in town, some go to the beaches, check with your cruise line in advance. Now, if you're planning on going to the beach, but your cruise line offers you a shuttle into town, that may still be the best bet for you because the town is closer to the beaches than the port is, so you get that free transport getting into the downtown area and then get some local transport down to the beach from there. Now, speaking of transport, you've got a few main options. Obviously, you're gonna have your cruise ship offered tours, a lot of people do like to take those in this port. They might just feel a little bit more comfortable that way. Uh, you've also got, as mentioned, the shuttle services, and then you can also walk outside the port gate and you can utilize the local tuk-tuks. Now this is where things get interesting. People aren't always really prepared for this. The moment you walk out of those port gates, you just get swarmed with people. So you'll get people holding up big signs, laminated plastic ones, offering you tours all over the place. And uh, it's really one of those things where you just have to be prepared for that. It's sort of this organized chaos and just be prepared for a lot of attention once reaching that port gate. But once you do get there, plenty of drivers available and they will try to take you wherever you wanna go. So you've got a few of the temples, such as Wat Krom, Wat Lu, you've got uh, Independence Square in the center of town, uh, you've got the Central Market, and then of course, all the beaches as well. 
Now, as far as port facilities go, very, very different to other places that you might experience in Asia as well. Don't expect too much upon arrival. The Sinopil Autonomous Port, it's a big container port. There's no currency exchange, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no terminal building, no restrooms once you get ashore. So make sure if you do need to use a facility, use it when you're still on the ship before going ashore. It is really quite basic, so just be aware of that. Also, if you've made arrangements with a local tour company, quite often they need permits to come inside the port gate. So just check with that on your paperwork from your tour companies in advance. The ship's tours will be inside the port gate. If you've booked out on your own, that might be outside the gate. So just check that as well, because that can cause some confusion upon arrival. If I got a dollar. Now currency. While the official currency of Cambodia is the Cambodian real, which works out about 4,000, 4,500 to one US dollar, this is one of those places where using US dollars, not only is it fine, it's actually really the better way of doing it. The US dollar sort of operates as sort of like a second unofficial currency of Cambodia, and it is very, very widely used. Now, often Sihanoukville might be the only Cambodian port along your cruise itinerary, and if you were to try to exchange for Cambodian real, you wouldn't really be able to do much with it after that day. And then on top of that, most international airports don't offer it as an exchange back. So you can't always get to the airport and try to get rid of it for your local currency uh, at the end of your cruise when you're trying to fly home. So US dollars will be fine, but here's the trick. You don't want big bills. Ones, uh, fives, tens, maybe the odd 20 if you're taking a, you know, a tuk-tuk driver for a whole day, but you really just want small US bills. That'll be the trick for currency in Sihanoukville. Alrighty, so my tips for how to spend a great day, just keep it simple. There's a lot of ports that you might visit along an Asian itinerary that have you going long distances to some amazing world-class sites. This is an altogether different travel experience. There are some great things to see and do. That being said, it's one of those things where it's a real proper travel day. It's one of those days where you fly to the other side of the world from where you're from to experience a completely different lifestyle and culture to where you grew up. So approach the day with an open mind and an open heart and you'll have a great time. Now how I would spend a day in Sihanoukville. Now the temples are really great. I do like to explore the town, take a tuk-tuk driver or one of the ship's tours around and really see some of the sights. The good thing about it is they're all pretty compact and pretty close together so you can accomplish it in about four hours or so. But if you do want to go to the beaches, plenty of beaches all along the coastline. You've got Serendipity, Soccer Beach, Otres. Uh, there's so many along that place there. But if you want a truly unique experience, my tip for you is Ko Rong. So Ko Rong is an island offshore. You do need to plan for this. You need to get transport from the port to the ferry terminal. And from there, it is about an hour each way on these ferries. Now, please note as well that the water that you go out on in the ferry boats, it can be quite rough. I have done this trip quite a few times and I've seen people get seasick on the way out there. So the conditions can be a little bit bumpy, but what you'll be greeted with on the other side is an island paradise. The beaches on Koh Rong are far nicer than ones off the mainland and you'll find them to be cleaner, the water's clear, it's warm, it's a local experience, but it can make for a really, really great day. You can have a nice local lunch, they've got fresh cooked fish over there. It really can be a great day and really a great island experience. But again, it does take a bit of planning and if you need more help, don't hesitate to contact us on how to get to Koh Rong for the day. Alrighty, so to kind of wrap it up, what you will need when you're going ashore is make sure outside of the uh, your ship's key card and all the good stuff, you have sunscreen. It is, can be quite a hot, humid day in Sihanoukville. Remember the currency, small US bills will be absolutely fine, but key on the small bills part, and that's what you'll really need for going ashore. And again, be prepared for the chaos. If you are planning on doing things on your own now, this port can be a little bit overwhelming for people. It is very, very different to some of the others you're gonna travel to. So if you feel more comfortable to take a tour, by all means, go ahead and do it. 
If you do like to do things on your own and you are looking for that local transport outside of the port gate, just be prepared. It can be pretty intense. It can be funny if you're prepared for it, but it just sort of intimidates people sometimes if they're not expecting it. So that's one final tip for you. So if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can write them down in the comment section below or head over to our website at www.discoveries.com and then from there you can hit up our contact page and reach out from there. Thanks everyone for watching and enjoy your day in Seanookville.